Well, uh, in the previous video, we did question 1.1.1. Now we're going to do question 1.1.2. Uh, um, so, for that means, I'm uh, going to, want to do 1.1.2. And then uh, uh, the question says, uh, solve for x, and then it is given that from the variety of 1.1.2, uh, 4x squared uh, plus 9x, minus three equal to zero, correct to two decimal places. And as I usually say, whenever you see the statement correct to certain decimal places, or they say, uh, leave your answer the set for, don't factorize, okay? Don't factorize. Right. Now we're going to, we have left with two options to solve the quadratic equation. We can solve the equation either by using the quadratic formula or by uh, completing the score. Let's work it out by solving using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is given by x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Why the quadratic equation itself is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Now, the main idea is to identify the values of uh, the coefficients a, b, and the constant number c. Now, if you look at uh, the given uh, equation, the value of a, a is the value, uh, is the coefficient of uh, x squared. So definitely a must be equal to four, and then b must be equal to nine, and then C must be equal to three, right? Not three, but negative three, because we need to take the number together with uh, its sign. Then we can substitute uh, from the formula. Uh, we can write X is equal to minus B plus minus square root of B squared minus four A C, okay? All over uh, two A. Then uh, we're assuming the values. Uh, a, uh, B is nine, minus B, plus minus square root of B squared, so nine squared, minus four A, A is uh, uh, four, and then C is negative three over three. Now we have, uh, this will make X equal to, you. if we work it out, if you press the calculator, we get a uh, uh, negative nine plus minus, square root of 129 all over six. Excuse me, that's supposed to be uh, four. I wrote three accidentally. Uh, four over there a is four. So over eight, so over eight. Okay, now there are two, two solutions. One with the positive, the other with the negative. Now, when we do that, we will get uh, 0 0.29. And the other will be uh, uh, negative 2.54. You wonder why? I did the calculation before. If uh, the, the negative sign, okay, we have, uh, we, we, because they say correct to two decimal places, meaning we, we, we have to look at the third decimal value, which is four here. And because four is less than five, we're going to drop all these digits. So we keep only uh, 54 after the comma. So the answer will be negative 2.54. But if we work out with uh, the positive, uh, check this out. If we plus there and then we press equal, we're going to get that. And then uh, we look at the third small value, which is four. And uh, because four is less than five, we can drop all this, we keep only 0 0.29, that is 0 0.29. Now, we can also solve the same problem by using, uh, by completing the scoring. How does it work? Okay. First of all, <coughs> uh, I'm going to split my board like this. Um, but completing the score is when we work out the C value and the C value is given when we make the C value over, uh, equal to B over two to the power of two. But we have to do this only when a equal to one. Okay, so in these values here, uh, we c must be the value of b over two only when a equal to one. And then as I can see, a is not one. 
in this room. Now I need to force to have uh, a coefficient of one over there. Now I, I, I'm gonna write the equation. This is how I can make it. This is how I can make it happen. The equation is four x squared plus nine x minus three equal to zero. So if I need to make uh, uh, this coefficient one, I will divide your whole equation by uh, four. So I divide by four, I divide by four, I divide by four. Dividing by four, this will make uh, x squared plus nine over four, x minus three over four equal to zero. Now, uh, I need to get rid of uh, this, uh, uh, this constant number because I need, I need to make c equal to b over two to the power of And I'll move it over on the other side of the equal sign. So that will be uh, x squared plus nine over four, x uh, equal to negative three, or it becomes now positive three over four. So you become uh, three quarters there. Now then I have uh, uh, a equal one. I can apply this formula of b over two to the power of two. Now I'll apply it. When I do, uh, c will be equal to b is nine over four, okay, over two to the power of two. And then this is equal to uh, uh, nine over eight to the power of two. And then, uh, geez, uh, let me move. Uh, this is equal to uh, 81 over 16. So that's the value of uh, B. Then I will write here, I'm going to add here, uh, plus uh, 9 over 8 to the power of 2. Okay? I prefer to write uh, 9 over 8 to the power of 2 there, which is the C value of form B over 2 to the power of 2. And then I'm going to add the same quantity on, on the other side, but I prefer to write 81 over 16 there. There's a reason for that. Because if I write like that, I can just take the basis, okay, of uh, the first the first and the last term. So I can write x plus nine over eight to the power of two, okay? Because uh, this C value is the value that make uh, the equation on the left a perfect squared. So I can just write it like this. So you may wonder why did the exponent on the x and then uh, the number and the term line, line over four x quads, actually they all compacted here. If we expand this uh, uh, this uh, x plus nine over eight to the power of two, expand it, we will, we, we will retrieve all the terms here. Now over there, we have uh, uh, three over four plus 81 over 16. So three over four, Plus it's one over 16 can be worked if we, we write them with a common denominator. And then this will be possible if we times by four here, in order to make the fraction uh, uh, the same, I must times also the numerator by four. And then this will be uh, x, x plus uh, nine over four, nine over eight, the power of two equal to what? Uh, 12 over 16 plus uh, 81 over, uh, 16. Okay. Uh, then uh, we can uh, work, it, work it out. This will be uh, like x plus 9 over 8 to the power of 2. Okay. This will be equal to uh, 12 plus 81 is uh, uh, 93. So 93 over 16. Okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, this will make um, um, x plus nine over eight. Okay, first of all, over here, we can square root here. Square root this and uh, square root that. Now we'll have like x plus nine over eight. Uh, equal to um, equal to, uh, plus minus uh, root ninety three over sixteen. Now I can move the nine over eight over. That will make a uh, negative nine over eight plus square root there uh, plus minus 
screw it over 98, over 16, uh, screw it over 16, I mean. And then uh, x will be equal to negative 9 over 8, plus minus, uh, screw it over, uh, excuse me, 93 there, 93 over 4. Now, uh, this will be uh, negative 9 over 8, plus minus, uh, um, if I times, I want to make it 8, so I times here by 2, 93 over 8, okay? The thing is what, what, this is what I did, I times here by 2, I times here also by 2, so I can have uh, 2, uh, um, I can have like uh, this, uh, uh, the, the, I can make the, the denominator common. Then we can work it out. Uh, if um, so, let's first double check the work. I pick up a mistake I made somewhere here. Um, yes, um, eight squared because over here nine over two to the power of two. We we'll make nine squared is eighty one. And then 8 squared is not 16. Uh, sub, uh, I think I was a bit fast. This is 64, not 16, but 64. Uh, let's correct this one. That's 64. 64. And over here it was 64. 64. Now, uh, it will change because if I have 4 and I need to, to make 64, I need to times uh, by by 19, okay? So over here, I times by 19. I times by 19, that also times by, excuse me, by 16, I mean, no, no. I think, uh, I times here by 16, not 19, because four times 16 would make 64, yes, times by 16, <coughs> excuse me. Then now, uh, just erase this part. So this will make uh, three times 16. This is equal to uh, 48 over uh, 64 plus 81 over 16. That's correct now. Uh, and then uh, that will make uh, uh, x plus nine over eight to the power of two equal to 129 over 64. Okay, that's right. Now, uh, Okay, I don't know. Okay, fine. Uh, so uh, we can screw it both sides of the equal sign. Screw it here, screw it there. And then the square root will cancel the power of two. And then we have left with uh, x plus nine over eight. Uh, I don't need to put brackets here. Uh, this is equal to plus minus root of 129 over square root of 64. And this makes x plus 9 over 8 will be equal to, okay, I don't need to write that. I can move the 9 over 8 over. So, this will make x equal to uh, negative 9 over 8 uh, plus minus uh, square root of uh, 129 over 8, and then which is uh, x is equal to negative 9 plus minus square root of 129 over 8, which is the same uh, solution as here. You see, negative 9 plus minus square root of 129 over 8. Uh, Yes, and then if we, we use a calculator, we're gonna simplify them the, the solution to x is equal to 0 0.29, or x is equal to negative 2.54. Thank you.